Well, let's look at how to compare strings. So in order to do this, I'm going to prompt for a couple of words and then compare them. So enter two words. And then I will go ahead and put them into strings. So I'll have a string str1 and a string str2. And I'll go ahead and put these into it. So I'll do scd c in, and I'll put this into str1, and the next one into str2. All right, now in order to compare them, you can use one of the strings and use the compare method inside of it, because the string is actually a class object. So I will have an if statement. If str1 compare str2, if they equal, if they're equal to each other, then when I compare them, it will return a value of zero. So at this point, I can say that these two are the same. String, actually, let me able to say that str1, and then I'll have something that equals str2. So that way you can see that they match. So let's first try that piece out and make sure that that works. So I'll go ahead and run this. And so if I enter two words, so apple and apple, it says that apple equals apple. Let's try it with something that doesn't match. So I type in app, apple and banana. It doesn't have them saying they match. All right. So if they don't match, I can have an else statement. Else, and then let's do another if. str1 compare s, str2. If this comparison is less than zero, so that'd be negative one. What that means is that string one comes alphabetically or kind of alphabetically, but it's actually ASCII valuably before string two. So I'll show you what that really means. So I will put this now statement. So I will say str1 is less than str2. Now, it's not quite the same thing as saying they are alphabetically before. It's a little different. So let's go ahead and run this now. So if I type in the two words, apple and banana, then apple comes before banana. That's good. Now I'm going to try it again. This time I will type in... Uh, banana and apple and doesn't do anything because they're not before. So I'll run it again and then I change this. So now it's banana with a capital B and apple with lowercase a. And then banana does come before apple because a capital letter is before lowercase letters in the ASCII tables. All right, so just so you know how that works. Then I will have another else. I can do an else if I want, but this means that they are not equal and they are not less than. So I can actually write this exact same thing and change the sign to the other direction, which is greater than. So I'll go ahead and run this. If I type in two words, apple and banana with a capital B. Then it says that 
banana with a capital B, the capital B is before the lowercase a. I'll go ahead and run this again. And this time I will put in one, two, three, and ABC. And you can see that one, two, three comes before ABC. So what it, the way it goes is you have your digits first, then your capital letters, then your lowercase letters. And then if you have something that is just, well, if it begins with the just um, the same type, either digits or capitals or lowercase, then it will put those and compare those and those will be kind of alphabetically or numerically in order. So uh, another thing to keep in mind, if you run this and I have one string that is a uh, like 12.3 and then I got one, two, three, you'll see that the 12.3 comes before one, two, three, because it's looking at where the dot goes. If I run this again and you say, okay, well, what about, um, one point two and you have the next one be something that is clearly I don't know, one A or C or some of that, you can see this also comes before it. So it can compare these and the dot comes before the C. Sometimes people get confused when they have spaces. We don't have, we're not prompting for spaces, but things like that, because things might look alphabetically earlier, but they really aren't. And so just keep that in mind. But this is how you can compare strings and comparing strings is important when you want to be able to do things like sort strings. Um, you have to decide, do you want to modify the strings before you compare them? If you want to, you can go through and lowercase everything. In order to do that, you'd want to do some kind of a for loop over it. So you could have a for int i equals zero. I is less than str one dot length i plus plus. And then you'd want to take each one of the characters. So str one i equals two lower of str one i. What that will do is it will loop through the entire string and lowercase each letter one at a time. And you can do that exact same thing for the other string. And then that will get it so that they will be sorted alphabetically, even if you happen to have capital letters, but then it'll display the numbers or the, the letters, how you would have them after they have been lowercase. So Apple, and banana and you can see the apple comes before banana because it lowercases that b this works great in some situations as long as you're working with ascii characters and you're not working with something more complex but it gives you an idea of how to do it and that's how you can sort and compare strings